These are the 10 things I learned at TX2K this past weekend. <laughs> Sixty, seventy, eighty mile an hour rolls. What's the deal, guys? If you have a big tire car, you need to make that shit hook out of the hole. If you can't make your car dead hook from a very low roll or a dig, and it's a big tire car, you need to go back to the drawing board. Number nine. Yep, it gonna rain. Just go ahead and count on it year after year after year. Every time we plan for TX2K, you check the extended forecast, there will be rain in that forecast. And at some point throughout the event, it's gonna rain. So plan on it. Number eight. Okay, so maybe not entirely more selfies than racing, but check this out. This is pretty cool. I ran into this little kid while we were at the track on Friday at TX2K. This dude was on point with selfies. Get in there. Yeah, go, go, go in there. Oh, yeah. Get all the way. You want to put the seatbelts on so you can pretend you're driving? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Selfies for days. <laughs> and I'm putting it on social media. Yeah, absolutely. That's, sure. <laughs> That's great. Make sure you get a good one in there. Check in. Hey, tag me, will you? <laughs> Oh my God, he's recording. <laughs> Number seven. So if you're gonna go to the track and video some racing and you're not part of 1320 Media Services, you need to get the fuck off the property. It is what it is. Number six. Hotels, the staff, all the tenants, they will hate you. The cops will show up, they'll ruin the party, and take everyone to jail. Trust me, you will not be on the favorites list. Number five. Hello. Hey, bro. Dude, I hadn't seen you in forever. Hey, man. Um, Y'all gonna be out tonight? Yeah, yeah, we'll be out. Awesome. Hey, check it out. Um, I guess uh, we'll be over on 8th Street. Um, you want to come over? You alone or what you got going? Oh, man, I got like 13 cars over here with me. Awesome, dude. How long do you think you can be here? Uh, I can probably be over there in 10 or 15 minutes. Cool. That sounds good. All right, man, I'll see you there. Okay, cool. Hello? Dude, where are you? Man, I called you like nine hours ago. Dude, man, we got to drinking and got caught in a traffic jam. I'm, I'm trying to get there. Houston traffic. God, well, hurry up, dude. It's almost TX2K17. Come on. Right. I, dude, I'm trying. I'm, I'm on my way. Okay. All the hype in the weeks leading up to the event, all the shit you talk online, everything you schedule, everything you plan on will not take place when you get to the event. I don't care how many plans you make, how solid it is, when you get to the event, nothing will take place as you plan. Number four. 
So TH2K, it's an annual thing. It takes place every year the same time, each year, after year, after year. And it requires a car, and it better be fast. And inevitably, every single one of you will wait till six days before it's time to go and realize, oh shit, I've gotta have my car together. And you band-aid it, and you bail and wire, and duct tape, try and get it ready and you bring shit to the event and it breaks and all your buddies have to sit on the side of the highway and nurse your ass until the tow truck shows up or somebody with a trailer is kind enough to come pick you up and drag you off the highway don't be that guy 365 days to get ready and you wait till the last week don't be that guy number three So once again, Mustang owners, they really don't do anything for the reputation of their people. Um, you guys may want to try and engineer some sort of a fire suppression system in your Mustang because apparently they're prone to catching on fire and being slow and running off the road and hitting curbs and hurting people. Anyways, fire extinguisher, fire suppression in your Mustang. Number two. Hotel parking, it will be a clusterfuck. You can count on that. If you drive your car to the hotel, you may be able to find a spot. If you trailer your car into the hotel, you're shit out of luck. You're gonna have to block somebody in, they're gonna get mad, and it's gonna get ugly real quick. Just part of it. So make friends with your neighbors and park with the best of your creative abilities because parking is shit at the hotels. And the number one thing that you will learn at TX2K is you will get no sleep. TX2K starts and it goes around the clock. Some form of racing will be going on at all times until the event's over. So if you plan on seeing the majority of it, you better plan on not sleeping. And that's a fact. Pack lots of monsters, nice energy drinks, Red Bulls, whatever it takes. But you're going to need every bit of it to make it through TX2K. Alright guys, so these are the 10 things that I learned from TX2K this year. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you guys have anything that you'd like to add or what you learned, make sure you drop it in the comments below. Or if you have your own 10 things that you want to share, make a response video and share it with me. I'd love to see what you guys learn and better prepare me for next year. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the streets. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Hey, if you like all things racing, make sure you check out our all new show, Triple H Street Heroes on Carbon TV. It's got driver interviews, walk arounds, we've got drag racing, street racing, everything fast that you want to see. Make sure you click the video description on my left or in mobile, make sure you click down below. And remember, Triple H Street Heroes, making you a hero.